Hey guys, what's going on? James here, and in this video today, we're going to be reviewing day number 11 of training camp for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. If you guys are new, go ahead and subscribe. If you do like these training camp review videos, go ahead and hit that like button and let me know down in the comment section down below what your guys' thoughts are about Buccaneers training camp so far up to this point. And you know, it seems like it was a little bit of a light practice. There isn't a ton to be reported, but the information we do have, I still feel is very, very important. And in terms of the players who are out, it's basically everybody who was out in the previous videos worth of practice, but the one new name on there is Donovan Smith. He took a vet day, so Josh Wells was the starting left tackle for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in this practice. But let's get started talking about some of the notes. The first guy... He just continues to make plays, right? And it's Ross Cockrell. Ross Cockrell came up with another interception in practice today, this one being on Blaine Gabbert. And, you know, holy crap, right? Like, what do you do with Ross Cockrell at this point? Like, I feel like just personally, he has earned starting reps in some capacity. I don't know how they can get him out there because... There's so many established young guys in that secondary right now, both at cornerback and at safety. But you got to give Ross Cockrell something here, man. He, he really has had arguably the best camp out of any defender on the entirety of the team from top to bottom. Ross Cockrell has been doing phenomenal. So how do you reward that guy? I feel like he does deserve some level of starting snaps. Maybe they can work him in to the cornerback rotation. Maybe they can work him in to the safety rotation. I I'm not sure, but I really, really do want to see Ross Cockrell get some level of starting snaps. And, you know, hey, even if he doesn't, at least we are very confident that the Buccaneers have a cornerback that can come in and get some starting reps if he needs to. It wouldn't even be you know, too much of a crazy thing to think for Ross Cockrell to be a starting cornerback, or heck, even at this point, maybe even a starting safety if he needed to, uh, because he has been so freaking good at both positions getting takeaways uh, and uh, forcing turnovers. It's been a wonderful thing to track so far. I feel like we do talk about Ross Cockrell pretty much every single training camp review video so far on this channel, but it's because the guy keeps on showing up and making plays. So what are your guys' thoughts on Ross Cockrell, how he has been in this camp so far, uh, and what do you think his role should be? Do you think he should have starting uh, caliber snaps in some limited fashion but still getting those reps he might deserve? Or do you just think like, hey, he is just an incredibly solid backup and that's just a great thing to have? Leave me your thoughts down in the comments section down below. But, you know, Giovanni Bernard... O.J. Howard and Tyler Johnson did struggle a little bit on the offensive side of the football in practice today. Giovanni Bernard did have a fumble. O.J. Howard and Tyler Johnson each had a drop uh, as well. And you know what? I'm not going to knock these guys a ton because all three of these guys have had really good training camps. Giovanni Bernard and Tyler Johnson since training camp has started. But then O.J. Howard, since he's come back, I mean, they've all three looked very, very good. And Everybody has bad practices. Everybody makes a mistake here or there in regards to training camp. So, again, I'm not going to knock them too, too much. I feel like there are definitely, you know, good things that heavily outweigh the bad things, like having a couple of minor mistakes in this practice today. So, I still think all three guys are doing a wonderful, wonderful job. Keyshawn Vaughn had a good day today of practice, making some tough catches on some not-so-great throws. I think Kyle Trask had one throw uh, that was a little bit behind Keyshawn Vaughn, but he made a great adjustment, was able to still come up with the catch. And uh, we'll talk more about Keyshawn Vaughn and some of the things that he said after practice, but it's good to see him grow and develop and improve his overall game. We've talked about him a few times here in these videos, and, you know, steady growth, steady progression is what I'm seeing. Tom Brady had some wonderful passes to, today to the likes of Jalen Darden and Scotty Miller throughout practice. And I do want to say Blaine Gabbert also had a very, very nice connection with Jadon Mickens in this practice as well. The backup wide receivers continue to do work, man. They just continue to do really good things. I, I We're getting into preseason football, right? Because the Hall of Fame game just happened. I know the Buccaneers preseason game isn't until August 14th, but... I'm really going to be excited to see what all of these backup wide receivers do, uh, just because I like seeing them make plays, and I think they are going to continue to do that in the preseason. 
uh, things might change, you know, who knows what will happen when they start doing like joint practices with Tennessee, but like so far, uh, all of these wide receivers have been doing some really, really good work. And again, I can't wait to see them uh, start to display their talents in preseason football. Cameron Kinley did have a pass breakup today, but he had two, count them, two dropped interceptions. One that would have been a pick six. Now we've talked about dropped interceptions and missing some opportunities. I think Antonio Hamilton's had one or two. Nate Brooks has had one or two as well. Uh, I believe some of the other cornerbacks like Herb Miller, D. Delaney, uh, maybe a little bit of Chris Wilcox have missed out on some opportunities. But Cameron Kinley, you know, he's got such a cool story, right? With him being in the Navy, not being able to practice at first with the Bucks, but then that decision being reversed and him having a chance to live out his NFL dream. And that is awesome. But Cameron Kenley is one of those guys who really needs to start picking up the pace and start taking advantage of some of these opportunities. Yes, a pass breakup is nice, but to really set yourself apart, to really, uh, you know, put yourself on the radar in terms of making that 53-man roster, you got to come down with interceptions. And having two dropped interceptions, one of them that would have been a pick six, those are definitely missed opportunities there. So, Love Cameron Kenley, want to see him succeed. I, we just got to see him, you know, grasp at those opportunities a little bit more. Two more things before I get to what is arguably probably the biggest thing that was a takeaway from this training camp. Jason Pierre-Paul said after practice that he thinks Joe Tryon is going to be amazing and a difference maker on that defensive front. So we've seen this in, you know, certain guys. We've seen some of the starting veterans of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers roster give some praise to some of the younger rookie guys. Ryan Jensen's done it about Robert Hainsey and uh, uh, Nick Leverett. We have seen uh, Mike Evans give some praise to Jalen Darden, TJ Simmons, and some of the other young rookie wide receivers. Uh, we, we've seen this type of thing where veteran guys are giving praise to young, uh, you know, backup type guys. And it is no different here with Jason Pierre-Paul and Joe Tryon. Joe Tryon continues to get praise from guys. He's gotten praise from Shaq Barrett. He's gotten praise from Jason Pierre-Paul. He's gotten praise from Bruce Arians. Like, a lot of people are pretty confident in the abilities of, of Joe Tryon right now, and I don't doubt that at all. I'm going to go with what those guys are saying. They see Joe Tryon every single day in these practices, and they would know better than most people uh, how he is progressing, and it seems like he's progressing very well. He's doing some very good things, and there is a lot of confidence in Joe Tryon going into his rookie season, which, yeah, I'm all here for it. I'm a big Joe Tryon guy, and I do think he will have a very successful rookie season. Keyshawn Vaughn said after practice that he made it a priority to work on his patch, pass catching during the offseason. And, you know, that is a big thing. We've talk, we've heard running backs talk about that in the past. Ronald Jones talked about that lot, uh, last offseason. We saw some improvement, but maybe not as much as you would have liked to have seen. But Keyshawn Vaughn, he's still a young guy. He's still growing. You like to see all the running backs just continue to try and get better uh, and improve themselves in areas that they might be weak in in the offseason. We'll see whatever Keyshawn Vaughn's role may be. Giovanni Bernard is obviously there, and he's probably the favorite to be that pass-catching running back, of course. He's been having a very wonderful camp, but again, like I said earlier, Keyshawn Vaughn, he's been slowly, but well, not even slowly. He's been growing at a reasonable rate. He has been developing, and uh, I, I think that he's in a better spot than a lot of people might give him credit for. So, Good job to Keyshawn Vaughn for working on what may have been some weaknesses in his game and trying to increase his versatility and his value to the team overall. But the big thing I want to mention from this training camp practice, guys, is Ryan Suckup. He was 3 for 7 on field goals today, missed his first four in a row, ranging from uh, 30 to 40 yards, I believe, or 30 to 50 but then he did make his final three in a row. And look, I know I said in the last video, I still have confidence in Ryan Suckup. I do. I do think that whenever the game times come and, uh, you know, when it matters, Ryan Suckup will go out there and make his kicks. I still have confidence in him. I'm not going to wince every time Ryan Suckup goes out there to kick a field goal. But man, that, that like deep instilled fear of having kicking problems is... You know, it's not rising up to, like, dangerous levels, right? But there's a little nugget of fear in there, you know? And can you blame me? Heck, can you blame me, man? 
there there have been so many problems with Buccaneers kickers in the past that geez man I don't think it's a crazy thing to have a little nugget of worry again I think everything will be fine I think Ryan Suckup will be good to go but uh yeah there's maybe a little nugget of worry a little nugget of fear kind of in me right now and uh, we'll see if it goes away or maybe it grows a little bit more who, who knows who knows man we'll, we'll have to wait and see but what are your guys thoughts on Ryan Suckup so far in this training camp Leave me your thoughts down in the comments section down below. And overall, guys, give me your thoughts. You know, what did you think about all the notes that I talked about here? What are your thoughts on training camp overall? I'd love to hear it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you all enjoyed. And guys, I will see you all in the next video or the next live stream. But until then, and as always, guys, goodbye for now and go Bucks.